and at last we are going to discuss about human ear that means from starting from the production of the sound to at the end of the chapter we finish it with human ear okay so what is sound so if an object is vibrating a sound is produced if an object is vibrating sound is produced so vibrating object or vibrating particles produces sound and do you heard about the term acoustics 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 this is a branch of physics or science generally we can say that branch of science or particularly we can say that branch of physics which deals with the study of sound branch of science or branch of physics which deals with the study of sound is called acoustics and the branch of physics which deals with the study of light is called optics these are the two branches of physics acoustics and optics acoustics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of sound and optics is the branch of the physics which deals with the study of light right now sound is in which category of thing there will be two categories of wave called longitudinal wave and transverse wave mechanical waves are classified into two longitudinal wave and or otherwise we can say that not mechanical wave waves are classified into waves are classified into two mechanical and non mechanical particularly we can say that transverse wave and transverse wave and longitudinal wave transverse wave and longitudinal wave so waves are classified into two called transverse wave and longitudinal wave what is mean by transverse wave and what is mean by longitudinal wave moving to that section before moving to that section i will give one examples of each the example of transverse wave is light and the example of longitudinal wave is sound okay so we want to know about transverse wave and longitudinal wave when a wave is traveling through the medium and if the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave then the wave is called a transverse wave when a wave is traveling through the medium and the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave then the wave is called a transverse wave and light wave is an example of transverse wave and when a wave is traveling through the medium and the particles of the medium vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave then the wave is called a longitudinal wave and the example of longitudinal wave is sound wave here we write the definition transverse wave transverse wave when a wave is traveling through the medium when a wave is traveling when a wave is traveling through the medium and the particles of the medium vibrate and the particles of the medium vibrate vibrate perpendicular perpendicular to the direction of propagation direction of propagation of wave this is called a transverse wave for example transverse wave example as we said earlier light is an example or light wave is an example of transverse wave when a wave is traveling through the medium and the particles of the medium vibrate parallel to the sorry perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave then the wave is called a transverse wave and same longitudinal wave what is longitudinal wave same only one difference is that when a wave is traveling through the medium 
the particles of the medium vibrate not perpendicular the particles of the medium vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of the parallel parallel to the direction of propagation of wave then the wave is called a longitudinal wave replacing perpendicular with the parallel then the wave is called a longitudinal wave as we said earlier sound wave is an example of sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave so we want to write some difference between uh, transverse wave and longitudinal wave Transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Okay. What is the first difference? First difference is the definition itself. First difference is the definition itself. Perpendicular to the direction of propagation perpendicular to the direction of propagation first difference so here in terms of in in place of perpendicular parallel to the direction of propagation second difference is that wave travels in the form of wave travels in the form of crust and trough wave travels in the form of crust and trough how crust and trough is formed thus that we have to discuss later and here the wave travels in the form of compression and rarefaction. Wave travels in the form of compression and rarefaction. And the third difference is that light wave is an example. Light wave is an example for transverse wave and sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave these are the three main difference between transverse wave and longitudinal wave one wave is traveling when a wave is traveling uh, through the medium and the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave then the wave is called a transverse wave and the uh, direction of propagation of the wave parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave then the wave is called a longitudinal wave and wave travels in the form of crust and a trough. Which one? Transverse. Wave travels in the form of compression and a rarefaction. Which one? Longitudinal wave. Sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave. And light wave is an example of transverse wave. So how crust and trough? And how will you differentiate crust and trough? And how will you differentiate compression and a rarefaction? That's also the difference between transverse wave and longitudinal wave. This one is transverse, this one is longitudinal. What about transverse wave? Transverse wave travels in the form of crust and trough. This is the form of crust and trough. This is trough, this is crust. The positive peak is called a trough, the negative peak is called a crust. So this is simply an ordinary wave. So what about longitudinal wave? Here, the peculiarity is that for longitudinal wave, longitudinal wave, this is compression and this is rarefaction. That is, this is a high pressure area and this is a 
ലോ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ആണ് ലോ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ലോ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കംപ്രഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലോ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് റയർ പാഷൻ ഹൈ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് കംപ്രഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലോ പ്രഷർ ഏരിയ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് റയർ പാഷൻ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ക്രസ്റ്റ് ട്രഫ് ആൻഡ് കംപ്രഷൻ റയർ പാഷൻ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ക്ലിയർ റൈറ്റ് നൗ ദേ ആർ മൂവിംഗ് ടു സം ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദി വി ആർ മൂവിംഗ് ടു സം ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദി part all the characteristics we want to check is that the first one we want to check what is amplitude of the wave second one wave length of the wave third one frequency of the wave fourth one time period of the wave fifth one velocity of the wave sixth one relations so there will be some relation between these all quantities we want to check that relation also these are all the quantities we want to check here amplitude wavelength frequency time period velocity so here we consider a wave format wave format is it is Uh, here we consider a transverse wave or otherwise we have to consider a longitudinal wave also for simplification here we consider a 